And on to another Pally favorite, Banishing Smite. Fifth level abjuration. Casting time, one bonus action. Range of self, components verbal, duration, concentration up to one minute. The next time you hit a creature with a weapon attack before the spell ends, your weapon crackles with force, and the attack deals an extra 5d10 force damage to the target. Additionally, if this attack reduces the target to 50 hit points or fewer, you banish it. If the target is native to a different plane or existence than the one you're on, the target disappears, returning to its home plane. If the target is native to the plane you're on, the creature vanishes into an harmless demi-plane. While there, the target is incapacitated. It remains there until the spell ends, at which point the target reappears in the space it left or in the nearest unoccupied space, if that space is occupied. Okay. Good shit. Namely because it's it's like the regular smite, so bonus action, self, verbal, concentration of some kind, normally a minute. That goes for a lot of the smite spells we're going to be seeing. But also, fifth level. This is the top thing a paladin can cast, and this is a paladin-only spell. So, really late game. Kinda have to put that in mind. But 5d10 force damage, that's pretty nice. Also, not to mention you could then load a regular smite on top of this. The big difference though, like when it comes to the Humanoid creature, generally the same rules, like, okay, native plane creature, I should say, it goes by some of the same rules as regular banishment, where when you cast banishment on them, they go for the duration of the spell. To be fair, it's not when hit. When it's this spell, it's whatever's left in the minute duration, versus just regular banishment, where it's a full minute per concentration. The big difference, the big difference is in the enemies that aren't on their native plane. Normally when it comes to the banishment spell, you have to hold it for the full minute if they're not on native plane, and then they stay there. Or else they're just gone for a brief period, and then the moment you drop it, they're back. This, they just need to be below 50 hit points, based off this attack. Again, load smite, you're dealing an extra 5d10 with this alone, that's force, which most things don't resist. And then 50 hit points, that's a good chunk. Um, the, a lot of creatures, like even really high stack creatures, sure they have things in the hundreds, but 50 is still a good chunk of anyone's health. Depending on the creature, that's easier, that's a very easy threshold to hit. Well, I guess it depends on the creature. Honestly, you have to say, due to some of the differences, the hit point cap alongside the damage to reach that cap, instead of things like just power word kill, which you need to kind of guess if they're already at 100, this is it might knock them over that 50 as well if they're not already at it. Also, just might kill them. It's good. Uh, it's 7 out of 10. The only thing that's really against it is the level when you get it. But 7 out of 10. 